Hello, today um, I am going to uh, tell you about um, a book review. Um, this is the second, technically second book I've read, and it's called The Marvelous um, Land of Oz by L. Frank Baum. This book is basically it's about, it's the second book in the Oz series, but it's not really a sequel, it's a, um, I guess it's a different story, it takes place, um, in Oz, but it's revolving with a different character. The character is named Tip, and Tip is an ordinary boy, and the thing that I, I didn't really like about this book, because I rated it only a 2 out of 5, um, I didn't really like the characters, um, there's this Woggle, um, highly educated and highly magnified Woggle, wa Woggle bug, and I think he's a little awkward because he describes himself in the book as being a place under a microscope from this teacher, but then he describes escaping that microscope. But wouldn't if you escaped through the microscope, you would still be small and you wouldn't be, like, huge? That's the thing I don't understand. So, that's one thing that's, like, you know, past physics or whatever. It's like, no, that's not gonna make it. If it was, like, a potion, he drank a potion and he become bad, I probably would say, okay, that's cool. But it wasn't like that at all. It was just stupid. Um, another thing is the scarecrow is dumb. He and he has too much pride. Like the character, the scarecrow, is supposed to be smart. He's smart in the wonderful Wizard of Oz. So why isn't he smart in the marvelous land of Oz? I mean, seriously. Like, you know, and he has an argument with the pumpkin head. And in one chapter, it's all about him trying to understand the pumpkin head. But the pumpkin head, they already understand each other. And he, they're trying to figure out why they can understand each other. And they need an interpreter. And I'm like, really? 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 <laughs> like, I don't get it. Um, so I don't really get it. Another thing is that the characters don't get really developed in the story. Um, even though I did like the returning characters, again, I did like the Scarecrow when he comes back, kind of. You kind of see where he's, what he's become, you know, since he's been king. He's kind of pride, he's full of pride, and he definitely, he's definitely full of pride than he used to be, and then, um, so is the Tin Woodman, because he's an emperor, and he's like, oh, I'm an emperor, ha ha ha, I'm like, really, you guys were so much better in the first book, I don't know what happened, making you king, you guys king sounds horrible, like, just horrible idea, so, anyway, so, um, yeah, Another character that um, I really enjoyed is I enjoyed the bad guys. Um, the, my favorite bad guys were actually the girls that kind of, um, the feminists that kind of go into the town, into the Emerald City, kind of take the throne away from Scarecrow. And it's really interesting because General Gen Ginger, um, which I'm it's spelled really weird, but it's Ginger, um, my character, her character, it's very interesting. And although they don't get too in-depth, they kind of take over that, that area and kind of, you know, steal all the emeralds and also kind of make the men kind of cook and clean. And I think that's a really interesting concept because... Even in today's world, we see, you know, some men do cook and clean, and, you know, and it's um, very, it's not always women cook and clean. Sometimes it's men that cook and clean, and it's really 
a different dynamic and stuff. And back then, women always cleaned and cooked. And so it was it was really interesting. And um, I really, really liked the... Um, um, I really did enjoy the Marvelous Land a lot. Uh, there was just a couple of things that I didn't really enjoy about it. And the thing about it that I didn't really enjoy is I didn't enjoy that it was, it definitely was um, two out of five stars. I mean, it really, it really wasn't um, that captivating. The characters didn't really have... Some of them had backstories, but it didn't really make up or match up. And other characters did not have a backstory, like Tin Woodman. Like, what has he been doing all this time since that time when he killed the Wicked Witch? What has he been doing to help better help their country? And there's not really much explaining about that. Um, there's really not much explaining about Mom, Mombi, the bad guy. I'm really, in, I was really intrigued by her character too, and um, even though she's a bad character, she's a witch, and she's a bad witch, sort of, but she's not part of the, you know, north-south type, part of the four witches. She's basically like this witch that Oz meets, and I really think that, you know, Oz and her connection, I thought that was excellent. But I really think that um, her character could have grown and there could have been more expanding about Oz, like, you know, that backstory about Oz, that would have been awesome. So, yeah. Um, so I did rate this book 2 out of 5. I read it on my Kindle, so that's why I don't have it with me. But I read it 2 out of 5, and, you know, I, I liked it. I didn't love it. I say that there was a lot of flaws in it, but, and it wasn't as good as the first one, and that's why it's a 2 out of 5, and not 3 out of 5. I was going to read it a 3 out of 5, but then I realized it was a 2 out of 5, because number one, I knew the ending, and number two, I kind of already, sort of, um, I didn't already know the story, but the some of the characters were really weird, and... They were not always pleasant, like some of the jokes were made that weren't pleasant, and I really, I don't know, I don't really like the story as much as the first one. And that is my review of The Marvelous Land of Oz by Frank L. Frank Baum. Bye!